What's going on y'all? We are out here today fixing to be getting on some sheep's head and today I'm going to be doing the four best rigs for sheep's head. These are the four rigs that y'all need to have in your arsenal if you don't already. But without further ado, we're going to get over on this bridge right here and uh, yeah, I'm going to show y'all what those four rigs are and we're going to catch some sheep's head on them. Alright, about to start dropping on these bridges and showing y'all these rigs, but for all four of these rigs, we're going to be using the same standard setup. We have a medium heavy rod right here uh 2500 size reel you could go all the way up to 4000 if you'd like or even bigger you know if, if you prefer uh and then the line that i'm running is 15 pound braid to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader you can step this up to a 20 but if you're not getting bites it's probably because your line size is too big i think 15 is perfect so that's pretty much uh, the setup that we're using for all these rigs. The first rig that we're gonna do is just a basic free line rig. So I have a number two Gamakatsu octopus hook. That right there is what they look like. Now, this is a size two, not to be confused with a two aught. A two aught is significantly larger than a number two. So that's pretty much it just got that hook tied on and i'm gonna go ahead and rig up a fiddler crab to that let's go catch us fish all right so i use this free line setup right here for a couple of things one if i'm sight casting sheep's head which we have some really clean water right here that's what i'm gonna try to do is sight cast one uh and then also you only want to use this in areas of low current if you got heavy current free line of the bait will not work so there's a sheep's head right down on the piling right there i don't know if i can get it to him in time it's right there in his face oh two big ones two big ones just free lining it and he's looking up too he's gonna see that got him got him there we go <laughs> <laughs> and there we go that's the first fish on the free line sight cast them get out away from these pylons not a giant but excellent way to to catch them i did miss a giant the one i threw on his back was a big one for sure Oh, well, that sheep's head number one right there on our first rig, free line rig. We're going to go ahead and move on to our second rig now. All right, so our second rig is just a split shot rig. This is the rig that I'm using 90% of the time. This is what I like to call the fish finder rig. And we're going to rig up uh, either a live shrimp or a fiddler crab. Look at that big old crab right there. <laughs> anyways we're gonna rig up live shrimp or fiddler crab anytime we're running this rig the bait we have today are fiddler crabs uh but it's a fish finder rig because what it allows me to do puts a little bit of weight on there and i can drop it all the way down to the piling or all the way down to the bottom off side of the piling and if i'm not getting bit i can just kind of ease it up there and i got my crab or shrimp kind of free swinging below that weight all right, so we're going to take our split shot rig with our fiddler crab. Go ahead and drop it along these pylons. See if we can pick up a fish on it. We got one on. Got him. There we go. That didn't take long at all. That one's a little bit better than the last one. I don't think it's a giant. But yeah. Oh, that one's got a beautiful gold spot right on his nose go ahead and get the net out come on over here buddy yeah and that is sheep said number two on our second rig the split shot or fish finder rig that was that gold spot that i was talking about right there beautiful colors on these sheep's head y'all all right buddy we'll see you Moving on to rig number three. So our third rig is just gonna be one of these swing jigs. I'm sure if you've been in any tackle store along the Gulf or East Coast, you've seen these swing jigs right here and they are amazing 
for uh, for sheep's head. Uh, they already come equipped with your hook, everything you need. And so yeah, we're gonna put a fiddler crab on it. And these are predominantly made for fiddler, fiddler crabs. The design is to be fished on the bottom in the mud right there. And then your current and tide is gonna move your crab, swing it around kind of at that little pivot point right there so these are designed to be used with fiddler crabs all the way on bottom all right going down with our swing jig he's got it got him that didn't take long let's soon oh no 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 don't get me Woo! that's a good one get him out from the pylons drive backwards mm. Come here. And that was the swing jig all the way on bottom. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that sheep's head right there. All right, I can turn the motor off now. I believe we're out of danger. That guy had some juice. <laughs> all right. And that is a good one on the swing jig. Sheep said number three on rig number three. Moving on to rig number four now. So our last rig here is gonna be a sweeper rig or some people call this a knocker rig. Very similar to your swing jig, uh, except it doesn't have the pivot point right there. So if you don't like your crab moving around the current, you kinda want it just in a fixed position. You would go with this rig right here, but it's also designed for fiddler crabs and it is designed to be fished all the way on the bottom. Going down with a sweeper jig. There he is. He's on it. There we go. That's a good one. That's a giant. Uh-uh, uh-uh. He pulled like it was. Come on. Yeah, that's a big one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There we go. Right side of the piling. Come on. Way to save the best one for last. Yeah, oh, ho, ho, it's a stud. It's a giant, no, no. Get out of the pylon, dude. Give up. Ugh. All right. <laughs> well, that right there is our fourth sheep's head on our fourth rig, the sweeper rig. And it is a doggone good one. Look at that beautiful fish right there. I'm gonna stick her on a measuring board. I believe she's gonna go over 20 inches. Yeah, 21 and three quarters, y'all. What a fish. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful sheep's head right there. Go ahead and let this guy go. And I know sheep's head are amazing table fare. Somebody's gonna probably comment and ask me why I'm letting them go. And the answer would be because I have plenty of fish in the freezer back home. Just a beautiful day to get out here on the water and just go fishing. All right, y'all. Well, it just occurred to me that I did not do a conclusion on the water of this. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video right here going over the four uh, rigs I don't really even know that there are any more rigs that you could use for sheep's head. If I left any of them out that y'all use, comment down below or just comment what is your favorite rig to use for sheep's head. But I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.